that was really cool. That was a very cool smart meeting. They're always cool. So that was really cool. And we talked about a lot of things like disidentifying with disarm, using it for anxiety and what if thoughts and catastrophizations because disarm stands for destructive images and self-talk awareness and refusal method. So it works for all those things. It's really cool. We know that. And like the hula hoop and discussed a lot of tools. And then we like checked in about how we were doing being like, you know, we are processing like a lot of very deep, much deeper levels of trauma. Feels like our, like our window of tolerance has expanded in the last few weeks and we're able to deal with stuff that was really stressful really well without it being as stressful. Like we're just, we're getting used to using new tools and new coping mechanisms. We're doing really well at it. And now we have like so much trauma from the past coming up, but coming up in a way that isn't like triggered and dysregulated. It's triggering, but it's not like coming up from triggers and dysregulated. It's like coming up to be processed. So it's like f being in quite deep feelings about a lot of traumatic stuff in the past where we couldn't process emotions at the time. We're processing them now. So it feels very healthy. And I'm really proud of us for being at this stage in our healing where that's possible. And also we were suddenly like, oh God, I'm exhausted. And Vince was like, I need to go outside before I like feel prompted to murder. And we were like, yeah, that's cool. So we went out to smoke and yeah, I was just talking about it like, you know, what the fuck is this? I used to be able to sit in meetings, talk about anything I wanted and I wouldn't feel shit from it. And then you very cleverly reminded me that it might seem like our capacity is getting less as we heal, but it's not like our capacity is lowering. It's that we didn't used to be in our feelings. We didn't used to notice what we were feeling. We used to just keep going and have this amazing distress tolerance for feeling uncomfortable, but we were never prioritizing our comfort. And now we're learning to prioritize our comfort and how we feel and to feel soothed and regulated. And as we're trying to keep more in that, we may find that we talk about distressing things for less time. We may find that we take more time out to soothe ourselves. And it might feel at the minute like I'm doing less or like I'm able to do less, but it's not that at all. It's that I'm able to feel more and we're trying to protect that. So that was cool. Love it.